the gold standard. Can it come back? Will they let it come back? When will it come back? Who will make it happen? And what does it even mean if they tried? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. In this video, I'm going to try to rather simply and straightforwardly explain what the gold standard is all about and answer some of those questions. So, you know, some of you may watch this and go, oh, Yankee, you're, you're, you're being so simplistic. It's so much more detailed than that and go on and on and on about it. Well, that's awesome. Please leave a comment below and school Yankee because I need more education and I appreciate all your comments. However, there are many that say, Yankee, keep it simple. <laughs> I don't want to go too deep. There are a lot of other videos and channels I can watch that can really explain it in detail. I like it a little bit more palatable. So I'm going to try to strike that balance here with this video and let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you think I did a good job. And I am going to uh, use Tim Marshner, the uh, local coin shop dealer you hear me talk about a lot. What do you think about uh, a return to a gold standard? Do you think that's possible? Do you think it's likely and when? Definitely stay tuned. Watch the video all the way through the end. You're, you're going to enjoy some of the uh, input that Tim gives during this video. So the gold standard, what is it? Well, it it's a monetary standard where a country's currency or you know paper money has a value that is directly linked to gold, okay? With the gold standard, essentially countries agree to convert the paper money into a fixed amount of gold. So you know, a country that uses the gold standard sets a price for the gold and then buys and sells gold at that price. That fixed price is used to determine the value of the currency. So for example, let's say the US sets the price of gold to $1,000 an ounce, all right? The value of a dollar would be one one thousandth of an ounce of gold, okay? The gold standard was used a lot in the past. It's currently not used by any government now, but you know, it was the basis of our money. It was the basis of our currency. Britain stopped using the gold standard back in 1931 and the US followed suit in 1933. And then they abandoned all the, you know, the, the remnants of the system uh, back in uh, 1973. So the gold standard was completely replaced by fiat money and fiat just i know a lot of you know what that means but i'm just going to say it fiat is a term to describe currency that is used because of government order or fiat okay that's what it means up here when it says it's a federal reserve note and you can use this stuff this linen to purchase stuff okay so by fiat this is currency or what people usually call money all right in short, back uh, after World War II, the Bretton Woods Agreement tied world currencies to the dollar and then the dollar to U.S. gold. And then what happened when we got rid of the gold standard is we just pitched the whole thing. The U.S. pulled one of the greatest heists on the entire world, okay? The, the dollar, okay, it was what everybody pegged their currency to. But the dollar was pegged to nothing. No longer was it backed by gold. Okay, so that's when we uh, uh, abandoned the gold standard. Under the gold standard, governments need to be ready to buy and sell gold to anyone at the set price. Okay, so when they say they've backed their currency with gold, they got to be really willing to, you know, pony up the gold when people want it. Right? Currency, okay, was used as a convenience, but it has substitutionary, not intrinsic value. Okay, substitutionary value. That that is me that means what under a gold standard, the value of this is conferred on it or bestowed on it by virtue of being backed by something real. This is real money, okay? This has intrinsic value. It does, <laughs> it really does. And this doesn't, 
You know, back when it was backed by gold, it had conferred value. All right. It, I've used this example before, but let me just rip this out for, for some of the people that are new to my channel and new to my videos. It's like going to a, a nice restaurant, okay? And you know, you, know, you take off your, your, your coat and you hand it to the, the person behind the desk and, and they hang it up so you don't have to be burdened with it, right? And they give you a claim check for your coat, right? And you go and you have this wonderful meal and you come back and you normally you exchange your claim check back for your coat and you leave, right? But imagine going back to that desk, handing your claim check over and they're going, oh no, 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 sir, I'm sorry. <laughs> we got rid of all the coats. They're gone. But, but don't worry, but don't worry, sir. You have a claim check. <laughs> those are really valuable. You should collect those. <laughs> what would you say? No, you'd say, give me back my coat. That claim check has no real intrinsic value. Can't wear it. I want my coat. It's cold outside. Give me my coat back. Well, governments don't want that. They don't want you demanding real money, gold and silver that are of value. No, no, they want you to be happy with your claim checks, okay? I think you understand probably the answer to my next question, why did we dump the gold standard? Well, I'm gonna say it simply. We didn't have enough gold to satisfy all the government spending that we wanted to do. <laughs> and how has that changed? It hasn't, we just wanna spend and spend and spend. So even more so now, a gold standard wouldn't make sense to you know politicians and uh, central banksters. So let me ask you this. Doesn't Trump want to go back to the gold standard? Doesn't he? I mean, he's said that before in the past, right? Bringing back the gold standard would be very hard to do, but boy, would it be wonderful. We'd have a standard on which to base our money. Now, disclaimer here, okay? I am neither a Trump basher nor a Trumpster. Okay, I'm a registered independent. I'm a conservative. I voted for neither Trump nor Hillary, although I did vote. Okay, I am a citizen. I'm a patriot. I voted. I want our nation to succeed. Not a party, not an individual. Okay, our nation. And as much as a president and our government can help our nation prosper and uphold our liberties and the Constitution, I wish them well, I wish them to succeed. I will support them. Okay, <laughs> with that aside, because I do get blasted for being, you know, a Trump basher. I am not. But I'm going to say, d does President Trump really want a gold standard? No, no way. No matter what he said as a candidate, I do not believe it. I'm quite sure that he would hate what a gold standard would mean. It would restrict and, 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 and bind our ability to print as much currency as they want. And, and think about it too. And again, this is not to bash Trump. He is a real estate mogul. He, he likes inflation. Inflation removes debt. It, he's done that before, right? You know, he likes to see debt obliterated by inflation. That's just, you know, his MO. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say, hold on, Yankee, you are wrong. Look at Judy Shelton, his nomination for the uh, Federal Reserve. Hmm? What do you think about her? She's a gold bug. <laughs> she likes currency backed by gold, or at least that's what she has said in the past, right? She's about ready to have her nomination voted upon by the Congress. What do you think, huh? Do you think that portends us going back to a gold standard? Mm-mm, no. I don't think so. <laughs> I think she's going to fall in line. They all do. I think she's going to get uh, fed religion. But what if Trump did decide to go with it? What if he really, really tried to bring back the gold standard? What would it take? Well, according to some, due to you know, trade or, or, or money supply, global economy, whatnot, the rest of the world would need to go back to the gold standard as well. Why, you ask? Well, because otherwise, the countries that use the U.S. dollar would stand with their hands out asking for the dollars to be exchanged for gold, especially debtors like China and Japan, which owe the U.S. 
huge chunks of our uh, national debt, right? Now, that would be a big issue. It wouldn't be quite as big an issue if we had enough gold in our reserves to pay it all back, but I don't think we have that. And 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 for Trump to unilaterally return to the you know gold standard, at least for the U.S., we would have to exponentially replenish our gold reserves before he did that. Now, I do think there are a couple alternatives that we should probably mention. One, a gold standard, okay, could be created with gold being a uh, uh, just a, a strong addition to a basket of currencies. In fact, Tim agrees that that might be more uh, possible or just more likely. In fact, he, he tries to delineate the difference between gold standard and gold backed. Being based on a standard, a gold standard, and being backed by gold are two different things. A currency backed by gold, it's, let's say gold was <clears throat> as it was in the you know, 1930s, mm-hmm. uh, it was uh, $20 an ounce, okay? And uh, Roosevelt and the rest of the people involved with the finances of our country mm-hmm. realized that there wasn't enough gold on hand to back the currency. Because they so wanted they to spend this, more. <laughs> had, well, yeah, but yeah, they also they had the Federal Reserve, which was trying to get people to use those phony pieces of paper instead of silver <laughs> certificates and gold yep. certificates and all that. So they had to separate gold uh, from the currency. Right. That was a currency that was backed by gold. Okay. Yes. And even the gold notes said that a silver certificate said that they said on de- on a deposit with the U.S. Treasury is one silver dollar. Um, but the uh, it, you know so that was backed by gold, and now it's it's not even based on a gold standard. A gold standard is whatever the trading value of gold is. Um, you, you know, so it's let's say you wanted a basket of currencies to use some uh, important commodities. Mm-hmm. Gold would be a natural choice because it has a monetary value. Oil would be a natural choice. Yeah. That's why the term petrodollars Petro is used around right. the world. So if you have you know a basket of currencies that include the U.S. dollar, maybe the euro, uh, the Chinese yuan, uh, oil, gold, then you spread the standard around so it doesn't have a major impact on any one thing. I see. So you know if the dollar goes up relative to the euro, they're both part of the standard. So who cares? Right. Right. Uh, and you know gold doesn't go out of sight because it's not backing the currency. It's just a standard that, you know, is a measure of how good things are. And, um, you know, it's, having it backed by gold, is that's a different matter. Yes. Uh, then you would have to really inflate the price of gold. It is interesting to hear gold standard versus gold backed. Um, but I think there's a second alternative, and I argue it with Tim. And I think it is that, you know, a traditional gold-backed currency could come back and it could be created by taking the price of gold and adjusting it dramatically. No currency will ever be backed by gold. There's not enough gold in the world to back any currency. But you could back it if the price went up. If it compensates, I understand what you're saying. The price goes up to that level. To that level. The price of everything will go to that level. That's the problem. You can't Mm. unleash inflation and then control it. It's impossible. In fact, Jim Rickards calculates that the gold price would have to jump to $10,000 an ounce to compensate for that. I've heard it calculated to be around $8,000 an ounce, whatever. I I do think that that is a possibility as well. I'm thinking that a gold-backed currency, not necessarily the dollar, but at some point after a dollar collapse, if we have that type of inflation, would it, could it, or could you even envision a future currency or basket being backed by gold. I can see that, and that's with the uh, the unknown, and the unknown is China. Um, you know, we're supposed to have what eighty four hundred um, metric tons of gold. Right. There's never been an audit, so that nobody really knows what we have. It's you know some of it is in Fort Knox, some of it is in New York Fed. Uh, there may be other locations, but nobody knows. The other thing is that we have no idea how much gold China has. 
and China's not willing to tell anybody how much they have. Um, they have mines all over the world. They have literally thousands of mines in South America and specifically Africa. And uh, the mines are heavily armed. Um, they make deals with whoever is in charge and they make you know very good financial deals to, to you know make their operations secure right i mean all over the sudan and um south wow. sudan and other countries you know in central africa there are lots and lots of gold mines so that gold is going somewhere and you know they may not be as efficient as parker schnabel but um i am assuming a lot of gold is coming out of those mines and they, you know, it's, they are doing their own accounting. They're buying fewer treasuries. Uh, so I, I think if they decide one day to go on a gold standard, yep, you know, just as a standard, um, that will cause serious ramifications around the world. It would be, you know, apocalypse. I see this, you know, gold-backed currency or a gold standard as a result of my final stage in the progress of deflation, stagflation, hyperinflation, okay? With a gold-backed currency, I think coming in after a complete collapse of the U.S. dollar and a global currency reset, the gold-backed currency would be forced upon America, forced as part of a monetary SHTF scenario. Now, a lot of Keynesian economists roundly reject the idea of returning to a gold standard. They say it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Uh, it, 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 it risks stability, Yankee. It, it's environmentally damaging. And come on, gold, gold supply isn't fixed. What are you, crazy? And economists argue there's no reason to have that because America has all the wonderful advantages with the dollar dominance, with all this, without all this garbage that you call real money. Well, that's the point, right? <laughs> I do think it's coming, just not while we have all the aces in our hands. When we lose the reserve currency status, and we are going to lose that, I think, in the next decade, only then do I think gold could actually return as a standard to some future currency. Who knows what that is. That's what I think about the return of the gold standard. You may disagree. In fact, I bet you do. <laughs> a lot of you disagree with some part of what I said. But regardless, I think you need to be stacking both gold and silver. Definitely keep doing that. And yes, put a comment down there telling me what you think about the possibility of us returning to a U.S. gold standard. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button, and I hope your day is a-okay.